After Effects can be a time-consuming beast, but what if I told you there are hidden tricks that can speed up your workflow instantly? In this video, I will show you my top tips and tricks that will help you animate faster and avoid frustrating mistakes. And the best part is that most of these tricks take just seconds to use. So, without further ado, let's dive into After Effects. So my first trick is smart parenting. First, I explain what parenting is. As you can see in our composition, a square box is moving left to right. Now, if I select the circle layer, grab the pick whip tool and drag it to the box layer, the circle is parented to the box and moves with it. But what if I select the circle layer, hold shift and parent it to the box? The circle is parented to the box and snaps to the parent's position as well. This trick also works with 3D layers. Next is Auto Orientation Options. Most beginners try to animate an object along a path, but the problem is it doesn't rotate according to the movement, just like in our example. If you try to animate this manually, it's not the right way to do it. Instead, select the layer, right-click, go to Transform and select the Auto Orientation option. Then click on Orient Along Path and click OK. Now our object rotates along the path very easily and precisely. Next is Anchor Point Alignment. Whenever we create a new shape in our composition, the anchor point is placed in a random location. I want to share a quick way to reposition it. First, press Y on the keyboard to select the pen tool. Then, hold Control and move the anchor point. So it snaps to the center and all six corners of the shape. Another quick way to align it to the center is to hold Control and double click on the pan behind tool to align the center. Lastly, go to Edit, Preferences, then General. Under General Settings, you will find an option called Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers. After that, whenever you create a new shape, the anchor point will be aligned to the center by default. This method is my favorite and I always keep this option on. Next are Smart Shortcuts. Most people know that pressing U reveals all the keyframes in the timeline, but you can see the expression properties by pressing E. If you have more than one property with keyframes, simply select those properties and press S twice to see the specific properties. Also, if you press U twice, you can see all the editable properties in the layer. If you press the tilde key once, you can expand any panel in After Effects. It's very handy when you have lots of layers in the timeline. Next is quickly fitting images or videos to composition. I have a lion image that I added to this composition. As you can see, it's a very large image and I want to resize it to fit the composition. Most people resize it by adjusting the scale properties, which is not the correct way. The correct way is to select the image, right click, go to Transform and choose Fit to Comp. Your image will fit the composition perfectly. However, it's stretched a bit, so once again, go to Transform and choose Fit to Comp Width. Now our image fits the composition perfectly and retains its original shape. My next tip is snapping elements precisely. If you want to move an object in only the horizontal or vertical direction, Hold the Shift key while dragging the object. It will move only vertically or horizontally for perfect alignment. Second, if you want to snap shapes perfectly, make sure you check the snapping checkbox on. This will allow you to snap the shapes to each other perfectly. Next tip is jumping to keyframes. Sometimes it's annoying to move the time indicator again and again to reach the keyframe each time. To solve this problem, you can use the J key to jump to the previous keyframes and press K to jump to the forward keyframes. It will save you a lot of time and improve accuracy. Next is the solo option. 
Sometimes we work with many different shapes, but if we need to focus on only one shape at a time, the solo option helps. Just select the layer you want to work on and click the small circular icon called the solo button. It will make only your selected layer visible and you can work on it without distractions. By the way, you can solo multiple layers as well. Next are my helpful 3D options. We all love to make 3D animations in After Effects, but did you know that if you click the Draft 3D icon, then press C to switch to the camera tool, you can see an object in 3D space. Also, it will ignore all the shadows and effects to show you faster results. If you click this icon, you can rotate the view horizontally only. And this option is for vertical view rotation. One important thing to remember is if you forget to undo the camera view, simply right-click on the composition and switch the 3D view. Under this option, choose Reset Default Camera. It will reset your view. Next is my go-to solution for fast rendering. In After Effects, by default, when we render a file, it shows us the animation preview while rendering. However, if I turn on the Caps Lock button, the previewing stops and rendering becomes faster. So these are my top After Effects tips and tricks to speed up your workflow and boost your creativity.